<laughs> Hello, great citizens of Coolsville. For today, we have some terrible news. Between yesterday and today, there has been 32 tornadoes that have touched down, and four of those tornadoes were F4s, and one was even an F5, the biggest tornado with more than a mile long base. Now I'm going to have to send it down to Carly for the aftermath of the F5. How are you doing, Carly? Good, Ron. It's crazy down here. Houses have been damaged and trees have fallen. I have saw a house get lifted out of its base earlier on the way here. With me now, I have Bubba J. Bobby, whose house was just damaged by a huge tree. Thanks for joining me, Bobby. Thanks, Carly. It's a pleasure being here, even though my house just got demolished by a huge flying tree. Yeah, sorry about that. So what were you thinking when the storm hit? Honestly, I was just minding my... My mind went blank. I was just watching NASCAR, and I heard a big bang. Next thing I knew, there was a tree through my window. Rain and hail was coming through. I was scared out of my mind. I bet. What did you do when the tree came through your window? I hustled to get my wife and children, and we went down to our basement and for protection. Thanks, Carly. Awesome report. I'm going to send it down to Jeff Jefferson with a seven-day weather forecast. How you doing, Jeff? Great, Ron. First off, there's a flash flood warning for Coolsville as the rain continues to fall. The jet streams will flow from northeast to northwest. There were several stationary fronts that happened in the last few days. On Wednesday, the high will be 65 degrees with a 100% chance of a thunderstorm. There are expected to be wind gusts of 65 miles per hour with direct with the direction of northeast more tornadoes are expected with the storm there could also be nickel sized hail on thursday the high will be 63 degrees with a 100 percent chance of rain the wind speed will be 72 miles per hour the wind direction is northeast there are no tornadoes expected with this storm but wind damage is likely on friday the storm system is leaving the area, but there is still a 65% chance of light to moderate rain fall there. The high of the day is going to be 64 degrees with wind speeds of 60 miles per hour and the wind direction, and the wind direction is northeast. On Saturday, the high will be 71 degrees. It will be cloudy for most of the day and clear up in the evening. There is a slight chance of some sprinkles throughout the day. The wind speed is going to be 40 miles per hour and the wind direction is going to be east. On Sunday, the high will be 76 degrees. The wind speed is going to be 32 miles per hour and the wind direction is east. It will be an all right day there is a small chance of rain on Sunday. On Monday, the high will be 78 degrees and the wind speed will be 12 miles per hour. The wind direction is, will be northeast. It will be a decent day out today. And on Tuesday, the high will be 85 degrees with wind speeds down to three miles per hour. The wind direction will be northeast and there's a zero percent percent chance of rain. Now here are some safety tips. If you are caught outside and there's no shelter nearby, first find a low spot away from trees and poles. Make sure your pick is not going to flood. If you are in a forest, take cover by the lowest tree. Now back to you, Ron. Thanks, Jeff. Now we have a very interesting story for you folks today. A farmer right on the edge of town said that there was an F5 tornado and he called into the show and said one of his cows flew over his house. Carly, is this, Carly's with the farmer right now. Um, Carly, is this actually true? Thanks, Ron, and yes, it is. I am here now with Buddy Taylor, the farmer who called into the show. Can you please describe exactly what you saw? 
Well, I was watching TV when all of a sudden I heard a cow very close to the house. I rushed to the window to see one of my cows floating in the air and over my home. Then I rushed to the other side of my home, then I, and the cow was coming down to the ground. After that, I hurried and put the cow in the barn and ran back to the house. Wow, buddy. Sounds like you've had a crazy time. It was, and I don't think I'll ever see anything like that again. I agree. That is very rare. Well, thanks for joining us, buddy. I hope all your cattle are safe and sound. Me as well. All right. Back to you, Ron. Thanks, Carly. Now I have one last story for you today. There is news that all the animals in the Oklahoma Zoo have escaped last night, and there are several search parties looking for them. If you see any exotic animals, please report to the police. And now this is the end of the news. I am Ron Burgundy, signing off. Stay cool, Coolsville.